So here's video two of our Aqua L Reef Max experiment in which we have set up two aquariums with pretty much identical corals and identical fish and identical circumstances in which this aquarium will be getting supplements and no water changes and this aquarium will be getting water changes and no supplements. So we have Caitlin, our marine biologist, which will be overseeing this experiment um, to basically just give you a very real world insight into how important supplements are or how important water changes are. Because there are people that swear by water changes and there are people that swear by supplements. Um, I'm not suggesting that you cannot run the tank one way or the other because just as there are people that have very successful supplement based tanks there are also people that have very um, successful water change tanks so which method you use may be governed by um, the research or feedback that you get or by your availability to um, water so for example if it's a real pain in the neck for you to do water changes then you might naturally gravitate towards the supplement routine if you on the other hand um, find that it's easy to do water changes then you might gravitate towards the water change routine but basically we're hoping that this experiment will just give you a very real world um, um, example of the differences so so being very aware there's probably going to be advantages and disadvantages in both um, methods um, by following this little experiment that we're doing you'll see the pitfalls and the advantages of each different technique so if you can keep your little comments coming down the bottom let us know what you think of what's going on um, what you think should be done about what's going on and um, just give you give us your general feedback and your estimations so I've got a fair idea what I think is going to happen but these tanks will speak for themselves they are both topped up with RO water for their top-ups so um, yeah away we go